Sales tax is a fee that's charged by state and local governments and is added to our total cost of goods and services. Sales tax is usually expressed as a percent. Well, if we want to think about this in terms of money, let's change 8% to a fraction. Percents represent fractions out of 100, so that would be 8 out of 100. So in terms of money, we have to think about decimals. 8 hundredths would be 8 cents in terms of money. So we would pay an additional 8 cents for every 100 cents that we spend, or an additional 8 cents for every $1 that we spend. Well, let's look at this in the real world. If our bill for food and drinks comes to $50 and sales tax is 8%, what is our total going to be after tax? Well, first off, that means we're going to have to pay an extra 8% of what we spent. So 8% of the $50 that we spent on food and drinks. Well, in order to solve this, we're going to change 8% to a decimal. So there's 8 hundredths. Of is a key word for multiplication, and we're going to multiply that by our cost of food and drinks. So 8 hundredths times 50. When we work that out, we have 50 times 8 hundredths. When we multiply that out, 0 times 8 is 0, 5 times 8 is 40, and there's our second row of zeros. Add those together, that comes out to be 400. Place our decimal, two decimal places in our factor, so two decimal places in our product. So that means we're going to have to pay an additional $4 on our total to cover sales tax. So all together, what is this going to cost us? Well, we still have to pay the $50 for our food and drink. That doesn't get to go away. Now we're going to have to pay an extra $4 to the state or local government for our sales tax. So all together, we're going to have to pay $54 to cover the cost of food, drink, and sales tax. Another way to find our total with tax is to think in terms of percents at the beginning. Start with our $50. $50 represents 100% of what we spent at that restaurant and food and drinks. Sales tax is another 8%. So that means all together in terms of percents, we're going to pay 100% of our bill to cover the food plus an additional 8% of our bill to cover the tax. So that means all together we're going to pay for 108% of what we bought there. 100% for the food, 8% for the tax. So in order to find our grand total, we're looking for 108% of what we spent there, or 108% of our $50. Well, again, to solve this, we're gonna change 108% to a decimal, so that's 1.08. Of is still our keyword for multiplication, and we're multiplying by what we actually bought, $50 worth of food and drinks. So now we're going to multiply that out, 1.08 times 50. When we multiply that out, 8 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0, 1 times 0 is 0. Go on to our next row, 8 times 5 is 40, carry my 4, bring that down, 5 times 1 is 5. So when we add those together, that's going to come out to be 5,400. Two decimal places in my factor means I'm going to have two decimal places in my product. And we can see, if we think in terms of percents, we can get to that $54 for our grand total through one multiplication problem. Either way, we're spending $54. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.